Are you an author struggling with building your social media following? Are you overwhelmed by the number of social media platforms? You don't know whether you should be on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Does all of it just seem too confusing and overwhelming? Hi, I'm Jane Westman, your book marketing pro. Tonight, I'm speaking with social media expert, Sarah Kelly. We're going to provide you with a series of simple tips to help you get going on social media and make it as uh, effective and pain-free as possible. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jane. How are you doing tonight? I'm great. It's nice that it's uh, still light out and it's evening. <laughs> Excellent. So, Sarah, when I'm working with, with clients um, and they want to build their own social media platforms and they want to get more followers and more engagement, I try to give them uh, three or four simple things that they can do to be effective on their own. What would you say is the first step that authors should take when they're thinking about building their social media following? It's a great question, Jane. I think the first, first step is to choose three social media platforms that you're interested in posting to that will best communicate your message to your audience. Um, as you know, most of our clients uh, have written business books or books about leadership or organizational culture or, or uh, some write about personal growth. So why don't we just, why don't we focus in on platforms that would be best for authors who, who are writing about business or personal growth? What platforms do you recommend? For business books, I recommend LinkedIn for obvious reasons, Twitter, which is where most of popular media goes to exchange information that the, the influencers, the movers and shakers behind popular media, they're all on Twitter. You need to be on Twitter. You often tell me that, that memes work really well. Can you just uh, explain what a meme is and why does it work so well? What do, you, what do you like about memes? And do you put memes on all social media? A meme, which can be as simple as a colorful uh, illustration with a, a simple quote on it, uh, posting that, you can get super creative beyond that, but it can be even just be a, a colorful uh, picture, a can't picture with a quote on it. It's easy to digest. It communicates an essential part of your book or idea that you're trying to get across. And it's, it's simple to, to take in. You don't have to spend 20 minutes reading an article or thinking about it. I find that memes break up content quite effectively from just being click here, click here, click here, and instead can make your, your page visually appealing, which matters no matter what the content of your book. And it communicates very quickly some of the ideas that you're trying to get across in a very effective way. Sarah, so to wrap up, here are the steps that, that we've discussed for um, creating an effective social media platform for an author. So one, choose your three platforms wisely. Two, post consistently. Three, I recommend uh, putting together two weeks worth of posts at a time, which include a, a direct promotion for the book, a, a link to an article or an interview, something else in which the author talks about the book, integrate it with a meme, which would be something as simple as surround yourself with positive people. I think also if you can add a little bit of video, I've seen that when authors make very short videos, 30 second or 60 second videos, and they post their videos, that works. Another terrific place to go to is Canva, which is um, an online um, service and it's basically free to the, to the general user. And you can create all kinds of 
posts, including videos and animated posts there. Don't be discouraged. A lot of this stuff is, can seem overwhelming, but the important thing, I think, is just to get started. The more you post, the more you'll learn about your audience. Sarah, thank you. That was really helpful. Have a great evening. Thank you.